Hi guys, this is Asma Mushtaq from the W Vibes and in this lecture I will solve an end problem of the chapter number 5.6 of the Morris Mono where you have to actually design a sequential circuit uh, with the two D flip flops uh, A and B. So basically these are the flip flops and they are of D type. Fine. And then you are having two inputs x and y these are the inputs and at the end only one output is given that is z fine uh, the next state or the state equations and the output equations are given as a of t plus 1 is equal to xy complement plus x into b and similarly for the next flip flop b of t plus 1 it's equal to x into a plus x into b complement fine and finally the output equation is given as the current state of the first flip flop which is equal to a so z is equal to a in this case Fine. The first part is to design or to draw the logic diagram of this circuitry. Alright. So let's start it. We need two flip flops for that. That will be marked. I'll draw it on the other page or on a new page. Okay, so basically uh, we have to draw this for A of T plus 1 is equal to XY complement plus X into B and B of T plus 1 should be equal to XA plus X into B complement and finally Y sorry Z is equal to A. This logic diagram will be designed using two D-type flip-flops. So this is my first D-type flip-flop. <clears throat> here will be the clock signal. And similarly here is the next or the second D-type flip-flop. And it's the clock signal. Let's just combine these two clock signals and represent them with the clock okay the output of this flip-flop is marked as a and the output of this flip-flop is marked as b and a of t plus 1 or the next state of this flip-flop can be determined by taking the and of x and y complement so let's say there is the input x and here is the input y and we have inverted it and we will take the and of x and y complement similarly here is the input x i will take x from here and then i need to take b as the input so which is the output of the second flip-flop it will go like that and we need to take or we need to add these two values fine and finally we will or them just to obtain the input of this first D flip-flop okay the next step is to find the input of this second flip-flop which is equal to b of t plus 1 is equal to x into a. So here is the input x. Fine. I will take x right here. And then I need to take the 
A input which is the output of the first flip-flop basically so let just be more precise and here we will add them and then we need to calculate x into b complement all right the input x is already available here so i can take it right from here and then i have to take the b complement you know that the d flip flop can produce d or b bar as well so we will take it from here and let's just perform the and operation of these two signals and finally or them for generating the input of this second flip flop okay and in the last you can see the output equation where the z is the output is equal to a so i can mark it like that this is the first step or the first requirement of this question and the part A is solved. Here is the logic diagram of this particular sequential circuit. The next step is to construct the state table for that. Okay, so this is the state table where uh, first of all we have written the present state since two flip-flops or D-type flip-flops are present here whose output were a and b that's why i have written a and b these are the present states in the state table fine so i will mark it as ps then these are the inputs then in the state table we will have the values of the next state variables so next states are represented as a of t plus 1 and b of t plus 1 and finally you can see it's the output z as mentioned previously the next state can be determined as the x y complement plus x into b or in other words it's equal to x into y complement plus b so for all values of x where x is equal to 0 the next state will be equal to 0 in this way i'll fill this column of a of t plus 1 okay and similarly for b of t plus 1 i can simplify it as a plus b complement so for all values of x where x is equal to 0 the next state variable will be 0 fine so considering this phenomena you can see here x is equal to 0 that's why we will have 0 0 and 0 0 right here fine by taking this approach we can fill the columns a of t plus 1 quickly and also another information is z was equal to a so whatever the value of a is right here will be assigned to z so in this way you can see clearly i have filled the columns of the state tables where the next states are uh, given as fine and similarly the output function has been represented or it's equal to the a all right once you are having the state table it's very easy to draw the state diagram from this and uh, i'll try to adjust to draw this state diagram right away or right here since there are two flip-flops so there are four possible states for this particular circuit that could be 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay now starting with the present states when we are in the 0 0 states and the input is x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 we are moving into the next state of 0 0 again and getting the corresponding output equal to 0 so it is actually returning to itself fine 
जीरो जीरो विद द इनपुट जीरो जीरो एंड आउटपुट इज इक्वल टू जीरो सिमिलरली वेन वी आर अगेन इन दिस जीरो जीरो स्टेट एंड इनपुट इज जीरो वन इट्स अगेन लुपिंग बैक सो वी विल राइट द नेक्स्ट इनपुट विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो वन एंड बैक स्लैश आउटपुट इज इक्वल टू जीरो फॉर द सेम स्टेट सिमिलरली वेन वी आर इन द जीरो जीरो स्टेट and input is 1 0 we are going into 1 1 state from 0 0 we are going into 1 1 state for the input 1 0 for the input 1 0 and having giving us the output equal to 0 then last when we are again in the 0 0 state and input is 1 1 we are going into the 0 1 state so we are going into the zero one state for the input one one and giving us the output equal to zero okay in this way we have drawn so far four paths where the two paths are repeated or returning to the initial state which is the reset state fine now moving to the next state which is the zero one state being in the zero one state we are going into the zero zero state for the input zero zero so being in the zero one state we are going into the zero zero state for the input zero zero and the corresponding output zero then being in the zero one state we are again going to the zero zero state for the input 0 1 so for the 0 1 we are again going to the 0 0 or the reset state and the output is 0 then when we are in the 0 1 state we are moving into 1 0 state so being in the 0 1 state we are going to the 1 0 state for the input 1 0 giving us the output equal to 0 and last when you are in the zero one state you are going again into one zero state for the input one one and output is equal to zero so for the input one one and output is equal to zero in this way or using the same topology we can draw the state diagram for it i'll show you the finalized form of the state diagram so you can see here is the finalized form of the state diagram that i have drawn using the same uh, information that was present in the state table if you have any question you can drop your questions in the comment section thank you for watching